thousand and the decades beyond, the advances in television broadcasting promise to be as revolutionary as the last 30 years. With technology changing on a daily basis, the future of television will be eventful if nothing else. Aggregation has already taken place in some parts of the country and the road has been paved for pay TV in the not too distant future. What we watch tomorrow could be markedly different to what we see today. In 1986, the federal government introduced a draft plan that would change the face of regional television. The 24 existing commercial television markets throughout regional Australia, each served by one station, would be grouped into six markets with populations big enough to support three competing stations, except in Tasmania, where there would be two. The draft plan was a step taken by the government to ensure regional viewers a wider choice of viewing and to promote healthy competition in the regional television markets. Aggregation, as it has become known, has already been put in place in the Australian Capital Territory and Victoria. While it's been a boon for viewers, the cost of setting up and operating in a competitive market has been a financial burden for the rival stations. This is not expected to be the case in Tasmania, though. Uh, we believe that both stations will be uh, viable and be able to provide an excellent service for uh, viewers in Tasmania. Aggregation in Tasmania was to have taken place at the end of this year. However, it's been delayed until 1994, although that is by no means certain. Well, in fact, aggregation has never been delayed because a firm date has never been set. And as we speak, a firm date has not been set. Uh, there's been speculation that aggregation was going to happen in this state uh, in the middle of 1992, at the end of 1992, at the end of 1993, uh, people are now saying the start of 1994 or the middle of 1994. Uh, the only delays have been in, uh, in speculation. New services operating in aggregated markets will be required to broadcast on the UHF band as opposed to the existing VHF band. Despite the advantages of broadcasting on VHF, crowding on the band on the mainland prompted the move to UHF. While no such overcrowding exists in Tasmania, the government policy stands and viewers will need to gear up accordingly. Southern Cross will continue to transmit on VHF Channel 9 in the main areas and associated translators on channels 11 and so on. Uh, TAS TV, however, will be required to transmit on a UHF frequency uh, in northern Tasmania. With technological advances like communication satellites, fibre optics and the like already making a major impact in the world we live, the next giant leap in television media will be pay TV. An initial four channels are planned to provide news, sport, entertainment and movie services, creating more competition for commercial television stations. It remains to be seen whether or not in the short term pay television will be uh, allowed to transmit advertising. Uh, if that uh, does in fact occur, then obviously there's only so many advertising dollars and pay television will take some away from commercial television. The commercial television industry faces a great challenge from aggregation and pay TV, but it's a challenge operators believe they can overcome. I think there are elements that uh, the industry's got to deal with. Um, personally, I believe the industry is uh, sufficiently strong uh, and has a, a sufficient number of excellent people uh, within to overcome these uh, pressures and uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, cut the cloth accordingly. The future of commercial television holds no fears for the management of Southern Cross Network. In 30 years of broadcasting, the station has dealt with and overcome many challenges and looks towards the future with the confidence that has brought it this far. I wouldn't be sitting here if I wasn't confident. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt. It's recognised by many people that Southern Cross are in an excellent position to uh, transmit on a statewide basis. We believe that we've got uh, technical programming and uh, personnel advantages uh, that we'll certainly uh, make the most of in a competitive en environment. After the break, we take one last look at 30 years of television in northern Tasmania.
might be, despite ridicule from sceptics who considered such suggestions outrageous. But our ingenuity and determination to achieve the impossible has proven to be almost without limit, as our continued development indicates. From that first flight of the Wright brothers, we now have reusable spacecraft, able to orbit the Earth in a matter of minutes. Likewise, from the early days of black and white television, we now have satellite networks, bringing live images from around the world into our homes. It's been 30 years of enormous change, and who knows what the years ahead will bring. As we conclude tonight's walk down memory lane, join us for one last look at what was, and ponder on what might be.